welcome to the special episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'm over at Jay's apartment complex at the poolside. Well, the pool's over there. Um, thanks for inviting me. Sure. We just had some hot dogs, and Jay's kind of left let me borrow his hat because I forgot to bring mine, and I'm going to burn otherwise. I'm dripping with sweat as we speak. Yeah, I am too, and it's only like 81 degrees out. <laughs> um, you might have seen last week when Alex from uh, Red Hook came to my house and dropped off those beers. Um, instead of doing official individual reviews of each one, we're just going to kind of sample these since, you know, you guys can't really get these at wherever you live, unless you live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, or Seattle. Um, so we're going to split these each way. We got the Hall & Oats, which is an oatmeal stout. Um, the Right Hook Red, which is a amber ale, which is hopped seven times during the brewing process. Mm. And the Lift Rear Rye, which is a Roggenbach. It's a Roggen beer, like a rye kind of, like a rye pale ale, something like that. No fun. So, uh, I say we do the, the stout first. Whatever you want. All right. All right, we're starting with the Hall and Oats, which, that's a great name for a beer. Yeah. It's a oatmeal stout. Don't know anything else about it. What was the ABV? 5.5. 5.5, 5. 5. so pretty... There is a little Pretty transparency average. to it. It's not completely black. Yeah, it's actually more of a brown. I was yeah, it's like brown. It looks like Coca Cola, you know. And it actually, I can see like sediment in there as well. Yeah. Some stuff and no head and a little bit of carbonation. It smells like an oatmeal style. Yeah, it smells like a little bit of a, like a whiskey too. I'm not getting any smoothness out of it that I typically get with an oatmeal style, but it is real sweet. Yeah, I mean, it looks like soda. Kind of drinks like flat soda. It's, mm -hmm. has like almost kind of like an artificial sweetener kind of flavor to it. Yeah, flat soda is the best way to describe it. There's a, a bit of harshness in the finish. Yeah, a little bit of chocolate in there. Overall very sweet, not very roasty, like a little bit. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't love it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good sessionable stout. Um, Nice. So the sweetness makes it kind of a dessert beer without the big body of like an imperial style, you know? Uh, just real quickly, I would say that uh, I would call this very, very average, maybe even a little below for my personal taste. I would never drink this again. I like it. It's pretty sweet. Alright, well that does it for the... Uh, Hall and Oats, so let's see what the next one brings. Yep. All right, next is the Live Free or Rye beer, and it's a 4.9. Yeah, this is a German Roggenbach, Roggen beer, something like that. A style that you don't typically find that much anymore. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, it's got a nice color to it. Nice looks, color. It's like an IPA almost, that orange burnt umber kind of thing, you know? This one's actually sustaining a little bit of a head. Yeah. The last uh, one did too, but it fizzled away pretty fast. There is, uh, it's, I don't see like a lava lamp, but it is hazy. Yep, real hazy. Uh, it, it looks a little oily too, even. Mine's cloudier than yours. Yeah. There must, might be yeast on the bottom or something. And uh, the carbonation is medium. Yeah. Let's give it a smell. It smells oh, pretty I good. I like it. Yeah. I like the way it smells. It's got kind of a... Like how a Hefeweizen would smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like a banana, like, banana nose. Yeah. I remember Alex saying that when he was, well, when he watched the video, you'll see. Mm. All right, well, let's try this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. This is the kind of beer I want to drink in this exact setting. In this heat? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the difference, too, between this one and the last one already, one thing I noticed was there's some harsh greeniness in that. This I'm not getting quite as much. Yeah, this one's really robust. It's it's basically like, like drinking a Hefeweizen. Yeah, pretty much. And it's even like coating the back of my palate. Yeah. It's got a strong clove flavor. Mm -hmm. Not as much banana, but... No, very clovey. Yeah. Uh, it smelled like banana, but it tastes like clove. Yeah. I, this is good. I like this one. It's refreshing, too. This one I would buy. Yeah. So, Alex, if you want to know which of the two to sell, this would be the one so far. Well, we still got one more beer to go. We still got a little bit left in the. All right. Well, we're gonna drink this and uh, come back with the third one. 
All right, we're back with the last beer. This is the Right Hook Red, which is a amber ale, 5.5 percent ABV. Um, Alex told me that this is a septupled hop seven times during the brewing process, and I can't remember each time off the top of my head. So go back and watch that. My question interview. is, my question is, are they using more hops than they generally would, or are they using the same amount of hops, just spreading it out over seven different times? Um, I'm not sure. That'd be interesting to know. Carbonation medium. Again, this one looks a little oily as well. Yeah. Oh, it does smell good. Yeah. Very hoppy. Very hoppy. It's, it's almost kind of a strawberry kind of thing. Yeah, a little strawberry. Clean. It mm. reminds me of Magic Hat Roxy Rolls. It's interesting because usually reds are like malty and caramel. All right, well, let's try this on one. This, this one smells great. It smells great. Let's see what it tastes like. Weird, different. Yeah, it's very, it's bitter and dry. It's watery in the, fr in the front end. A touch bit of citrus in there. Yeah. I got a very watery taste in the front. I don't, it doesn't taste watery to me. Very, very hoppy. It's, it's a dry bitterness. Very IPA-ish. Yeah, it's got a ton of dryness in the finish. Is this what you would describe as a floral hop kind of taste? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. I actually, see, I think this is the best of the three. They kept getting better. Yeah, this is, it's floral, but it's it's very, it's almost like this is the rye beer. Because it has like that kind of dry rye kind of flavor or finish, you know. It's, you know, it's very bitter. I think the dryness on the back end is a little strong. I probably would have preferred something a little more wet. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I figure you would like this based on what I'm tasting, because I know what you tend to like, and this is this is like where we're the exact opposites. Yeah. Um, I like this one. The only caveat for me is that is the dry aftertaste, which you know, it, which isn't bad. I can I can tolerate because the flavor itself is good. Yeah, and for and me, this smells good. I, I like the smell of this one the best, yeah. but I don't like the taste at all, and it's probably just because it's overly hopped up for me and. I, I like hoppy beers, but yeah. not when they're florally, and this has a floral level, you know. Yeah. I think this is a, a more of a hop heads kind of beer, whereas the Live Free or Rye, I think, is anybody's. Yeah. And and I think the Hall & Oats is, if you like stouts, you'd like that, but otherwise you probably wouldn't. Yeah, I, I can definitely tell, like, like where the whole the Hall & Oats, I just didn't like as a beer in general. I didn't like what it had to offer. But this I could tell. If you're a hophead, you probably would like it. It's just that it's a person. Like, because I don't. I, I'm not finding any problem with quality in this. Right. You know, I'm finding just. I just don't like this style of beer. Uh, so, you know, I think yeah. if you're a hophead, you would like it. But the uh, my favorite was the rye, the three. Yeah. It's a for me. It's a toss up between the rye and this. The rye was a lot more refreshing. Yeah. A lot easier to drink. This would be good with some wings. Probably something yeah. spicy like that. Um, if I had to give a number grade, I'd probably go seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Or, well, seven, eight, eight. Seven, eight, eight. For me, I didn't like this one at all. I didn't like this one at all. This one I liked. <laughs> so. I'm going to start calling you the cranky critic because you don't like anything anymore. <laughs> no, I like a lot of things, but it's like I'm so stubborn. After, after you had things like the KBS and the Pesh Mortal, it's like it's tough to like find things that are at least even close. Yep. Before we wrap this up, I gotta say thanks to Alex Kopp for the beer. Yes, thanks for letting give them to Chad, and thanks for sharing them with me, Chad. Yep, and thanks for inviting me out for a nice Memorial Day poolside. Hot dogs. Yep. How American does it get? Yep. Beer and hot dogs. So, happy Memorial Day, though by the time you see this, it'll be way after. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that does it, so thanks for watching.